Hey, my name is Tony. We're in my little garage here working on my KTM uh, 2014 250 XC. Got some other projects I'm, I'm out here working on too. This is my daughter's Honda XR80R, throwing some tires and stuff on brakes. Uh, but today we're going to go over real quick the uh, Enduro Engineering Clutch Slave Guard. I'm sure there's probably other videos uh, on this uh, the clutch slave guard, but uh, Enduro Engineering, I don't know if you follow the channel or not, but uh, uh, Rider Company, I mean the people that work there ride bikes, and uh, they're located, I'm in Michigan, but they're located right down the road from me. So uh, we're going to throw this on real quick, super easy job, I kind of started the process a little bit, and I wanted to grab the camera, I wanted to uh, show my support for Enduro Engineering. It'll come in this little box here. It does have a, a di diagram they give you, but it's a very easy job. Here's their phone number. If you uh, want to give them a call, these are the bikes that it covers. Uh, KTM, Husaberg, Husqvarna. You can see some of the years and models. So real quick, all we did was take off these three bolts. If you have a uh, cover there already. You'll, you'll take that cover off. People were giving me a hard time because I bought this bike used and I, it didn't come with a cover. Of course, a, uh, I believe a clutch uh, slave guard is a necessity. So you're just going to pop these three bolts off real quick. It's a very easy job. Around the back here you have the stock uh, slide. I already loosened it up, but we will pull that out. There's your stock slide, and they will give you a new bolt for that. It's going to be just a hair longer to mount this. Like I said, they give you all the all the bolts and everything you need. We'll put that on real fast. All right, so you can see I just put the two bolts here in first. All right, so here's uh, the new slider that they give you. You can see the new bolt is just a hair longer than the old bolt, so you can make room for this uh, knockdown they give you. Uh, so the part with the elongated hole goes uh, facing the, the back there. I like to always use thread locker, so we're going to throw some thread locker up on those uh, threads. So I'll snug that down here in a second, and you can see your bar just goes right inside there. And they give you a little uh, spacer, basically a shim, that will go on this side, not on the inside. It'll go on this side over here. I'll just run my bolt through. And that'll just be like a little shim there. That's about it for that super easy install. Like I said, Enduro Engineering is located just 20 minutes from the house here, so we're going to support people that support the sport. And that's about it. And then we'll just snug these down. We'll snug everything down and then tighten this down here. And that's pretty much it. It's about the extent of the job. I only need a couple uh, tools here, like 8mm and I think a 10mm. So that is uh, Enduro Engineering part number 13-093 and also 13-097. I got the uh, 09, uh, 097 version that uses a new slider. I, I think it looks like uh, the 093 you will be using your upper chain guide roller if uh, you're using that 093 version. But we about done here. I took these back off and just used a little bit of uh, thread locker on there just for the heck of it. A uh, removable thread locker. So that is the end of the job there.
Thanks for watching.